Okay, so I have to admit I'm in shock. Now I will show you what I have found. After you disassemble the motor, you can see that there are just two contacts, which means that uh, there are two poles here, because uh, you have four magnet, but the way you control them probably you change the polarity inside uh, this coil only. Now how you find what what to do and how. So you have here this tiny Hall effect sensor. This is for sure Hall effect sensor. I am familiar with those. And you can also see that how it is going. This Hall effect is here inside. And this part I will show you is, it's a little hard, but it is rotating. You can see the dot here, and now I can rotate it. It's very hard to rotate, and this is because the Nemodio magnet inside. So you apply power, and then it's rotate, and by uh, the magnetic uh, and the whole effect, it knows where the motor is at uh, any uh, certain time and then how it it is changing now these two uh, sensors probably are the second whole effects of the filter i'm almost sure and here you can see that you have a uh, mosfets so we have two mosfets here and two mosfets and this is because you have a full bridge a MOSFET, uh, this is how it built. This is a resistor to sense the current that is going through the coils. And this is a controller to control all uh, the work of this one. Uh, very interesting. Uh, another interesting, to my opinion, is why do I have three capacitors? Probably the capacitors are all uh, connected in parallel. I'm not sure, but let's check if this is the case. I'm not sure about it, but this is why I'm testing now. Yes, all it looks like all the capacitor are connected in parallel. Uh, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, because if you have the full bridge rectifier with MOSFET, so you have to supply a stable voltage to the MOSFET, so probably these are uh, the stable uh, voltage to the MOSFET, in order to keep the uh, voltage drain source steady all the time. And uh, that's all. This is how it works. Now this unit is doing a problem because I have again the filter blinking all the time, no matter what I'm doing and everything is for sure clean. And what are these contacts? So probably these contacts are in order to check the circuit and of course to program the microcontroller. So this microcontroller is being programmed by this, uh, all these connections here. So this is my assumption anyway. This is the way it works. Thank you and bye.